Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Dear students, respected teachers and all of viewers, may peace be upon all of you. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Engineer Majidameen. And in this lecture number three of this chapter, Trigonometric Identities, we will answer these four questions. Why sine of 90 is 1? Why cos of 90 is 0? And similarly for 0 degree angle. Dear students, trigonometric ratios are very important for engineering students. But uh, medical students, they also come across these questions because they deal with physics even if there is no mathematics in their course. So it's very important that you have grab on this full videos on trigonometric ratios I have given in lecture number one and lecture number two of my this uh, these lectures. So let's discuss why sine of 90. I will try to go through these questions quickly. Just answer these four questions. Dear students, it is very simple. Why sine of 90 is one? If you take any stick, it will be your hypotenuse, right, students? So, up for example, this is your first quadrant, zero degree, ninety degree. Dear students, place your hypotenuse at some particular position. For example, I place it at this particular position, and it is making some certain angle. G. It is, it is this. It is making some sort. For example, it has some particular length, and I know its length is ten inches. Whatever, it makes no difference. For example, its length is 10 inches. You could take a stick of length 5 inches, 8 inches. Your choice. It makes no difference. Okay, dear students. So this is your angle theta. This is angle 30 degree, 45 degree, whatever. Okay. Now, if you increase the angle, if you increase the angle, means you take it a bit upward like this. You increase the angle. So nothing happened. I increase the angle, nothing happened to its length. No change in its length. No change but perpendicular increased. For example, at this particular position, for example, perpendicular length is, for example, 5, whatever. Uh, any person can guess that the value of perpendicular increased. Yape, for example, perpendicular is 5. So, in this position, perpendicular is, uh, for example, a to perpendicular increase. And, and keep on increasing, you will ultimately reach 90 degree. Oh, it is constant. It is constant. Nothing is happening to its length. Its length is constant, magar per, but perpendicular increases. Right, students? Perpendicular increases. Okay. Uh, for example, its length is 9. Increase further, a time will reach when it will be totally vertical. Now, in this particular position, and which is 90 degree angle, hopefully you see it. It is totally straight, exactly straight. Now, it is making 90 degree angle. In this particular position, perpendicular and hypotenuse, they become equal. But, but base vanishes. No base in this particular position. Okay, for this angle, this is perpendicular and this red, this is base. This is base. Now, if you increase the angle, you took the stick to this position, angle increased, perpendicular increased, but base decreased. Initially, base was from here to here at whatever it is. For example, its length is 9, 8, whatever. And now, when you take the stick to this position, this will be your base. This will be your base. Clearly, the base decreased. 6, 5, whatever. So, the value decreased. So, when the angle becomes 90 degree, base vanishes. Base will be 0. And you know, sine of theta is equal to perpendicular of theta upon hypotenuse of theta. We are discussing 90 degree angle. So, in 90 degree angle position, both of them are equal. Irrespective of their lengths, their lengths may be 5, 10, 15. I have taken a stick of length 10 inches. So, for me, at 90 degree angle, perpendicular will be 10, hypotenuse will be 10, lihaza, it's, that's why, that's why its uh, value is 1. Sine 90 is 1 because at 90 degree angle, perpendicular and hypotenuse are equal. And sine is the ratio of perpendicular and hypotenuse. But cos 90, but cos 90, because cos is the ratio of base and hypotenuse. 
So at 90 degree angle for this particular angle base is 0. This is 0. That's why we say that cos of 90 is 0. It's, with, it's so simple. Now you do the reverse process. So to conclude if theta increases, base decreases but perpendicular increases. At 90 degree angle perpendicular perpendicular increases but there is some limit to perpendicular it will it can at the at the most it becomes it can become equal to hypotenuse it cannot exceed hypotenuse then it is a separate story you don't need to uh, get into that topic you just remain yourself confined to these uh, four questions right students hopefully it is clear now you do the reverse if cos, uh, if theta is uh, decreasing, if theta is decreasing, you just suppose initially the stick was at this position, angle was greater. Okay, I took it downwards. Then the value of angle decreased. So as a result, perpendicular decreased, but base increased. Initially, the base was this much. Now, when it went to this position, the base increased. Okay, base increased. So, base increases, increases like I mean this. If it is here, base is this much. Oh, it is going down, base increased. It is further going down, base will be from here to here because this will be perpendicular. A time will reach when it will be exactly at horizontal position means zero degree angle. If it is zero degree angle, then at this particular position, perpendicular will be zero. Perpendicular will be zero, but perpendic but base and hypotenuse will become equal. That's why we see that we say that sine of 90 because sine of zero, sine of zero, sorry, perpendicular by hypotenuse sine theta magar zero. At 0, perpendicular will be 0. Whatever is the value of hypotenuse will be 0. The students, cos 0, base divided by hypotenuse and they are equal. For me, they are both 10 inches. So, 10 by 10 is 1. For you, it may be 5 inches thick. It may be 4 inches thick. Now, dear students, hopefully, uh, now you can answer these four questions. Why cos of 0 is 1? For, because at 0 degree angle, base and hypotenuse will be equal and the ratio of equal things is always 1 and why sine 0 is 0 because at 0 degree angle you may have for example because why it is equal because at 90 degree angle if angle is 90 degree perpendicular hypotenuse are equal why cos 90 is 0 because if angle is 90 base is 0 and cos depends on base base divided by hypotenuse sine 90 sine 0 because if angle is 0, perpendicular is 0. Why cos 0 is 1? Because if theta is 0, base and hypotenuse will equal will be equal. Dear students, this is your today's lecture. Hopefully, or this lecture is lecture number 4. Lecture number 3. Uh, dear students, uh, Uh, dear students, uh, hopefully uh, I made these uh, four questions clear to you and if you want to learn the trigonometric ratios in detail, don't forget to watch my videos on trigonometric identities. You just type trigonometric ratio 01 by engineer Majid Amin and you will come across my lectures. Uh, hopefully, see you in next videos. Remember me in your prayers. Good luck. Allah Hafiz.